Hi, Anson Garcia, and today I'm going to take you through one talk with Microsoft Teams. I know it doesn't seem like it goes together, but it does. So uh, a few years back when Microsoft Teams came out, one of the big complaints was, like the other platforms, WebEx, BlueJeans, Zoom, they have what they call a personal meeting room or a meeting room, a constant static URL that some people like myself put it in their signature. Um, some people can remember it because it's like uh, anson.garcia at webex.com, something very easy like that that you can remember. Microsoft, however, didn't come out with that. Now, on their Skype for Business and Link server on-prem, they did have that feature, but in their cloud Microsoft Teams offering, they had some trouble, it's reported with licensing and things like that, getting around how they're gonna structure that in the cloud. So they never came out with that feature. They still have not come out with that feature. Now there is some user voice uh, talk on adding that feature to Microsoft Teams, but still as of June 2020, it still has not been released and it doesn't look like it's on the radar screen or any time in the near future. However, there is a thing that's called private meetings in Microsoft Teams. Now, what is private meetings? Private meetings are meetings that exist outside of Microsoft Teams. What does that mean? Well, it's a meeting that doesn't exist or you don't schedule inside a channel, a team channel, or a group chat, or a private chat, okay? So, that may seem weird if you're not in tune with Microsoft Teams, but in, in simple terms, it's a Teams meeting that you can do the traditional way. What's the traditional way? What are we used to doing? We're used to scheduling inside Outlook. So like, let's say you WebEx or BlueJean or Zoom fans, you know that we have a little plugin for Outlook that allows you to do a meeting inside Outlook, right? Gives you a little URL, whether it's scheduled or your, your personal meeting room or whatever, you can put that in Outlook. That is what Microsoft calls a private meeting. Again, a meeting outside of Microsoft Teams, where you have that little button, Teams meeting button inside Outlook. And when you schedule a meeting, you can schedule a meeting and you're going to see how I do it. I schedule it way far out that, let's say 2021, you know, something like that, that meeting URL is good until that particular time. So that URL is static. You can join that URL any time. So that's how you can kind of get around and provide a personal meeting room. Again, it's not going to have a vanity uh, style um, URL or something easy to remember, but It'll work with OneTalk because all we do is paste the URL in there and then we can always text it, you know, and use it uh, there in OneTalk. So let's head over to the PC and I'll show you how this works. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go in your Microsoft Teams Admin Center. When you're in your Admin Center, go over to Meetings and then Meeting Policies right here. And then go over to whatever policy you have for your organization. Now you may have several policies. Um, it doesn't matter what you're testing out or who you're giving this to or this capability to. Um, you just want that policy attached to that person or group. Now what we're looking for is this right here. Allow scheduling private meetings. Now what does that mean? That means that you can schedule meetings outside of Teams, outside of a Teams channel so it doesn't have to be inside the Teams channel. Also, you can schedule a meeting that has no participants. All right, that's important to note. So what does that give you? That gives you, let's hop over here to Jessica's PC. And what that gives you is this particular button right here inside Outlook. So this is Outlook for uh, 365 or 365 Outlook here. This could be Outlook 2016, whatever. But um, you, you get this button here pushed down to the client, all right? That button also is a little bit different in the web app portion of Outlook. But uh, in the web app, if you do a new event, you're going to get this drop down right here, and you're going to get that Teams meeting right there. 
okay so what does that give you let me just we're going to do it in a thick client just to make it a little bit easier to see here what i would do is just a new teams meeting that's all i need right there and then what i want to do is push this out you can see i already did it before so it's picking up my last date that i did this i want to push it out as far as possible so i'm just going to push it out to the end of this year the end of 2020. i'm going to name it um this is jessica so jessica jessica's ms personal meeting room now you see i didn't put any required people here and it still gave me this is unlike what you do in teams in teams this doesn't happen and let me just go over there and show you that if i were in calendar in teams and i did a new meeting i i i have to even if i add a title here I don't add any attendees I can do whatever date but you see I don't get the link here that's the key I need the link for the meeting all right I don't get that here so the only place you can do this unless you add if you add someone here then you'll get a link but we don't want to add anybody we're not inviting anybody to this particular meeting it's just a meeting a standing meeting that's going to be sitting out there ready for us to join whenever we want so I can't do it in here I'm just going to cancel this meeting. We'll take it out of there. We're going to go back over to Outlook. All right. We got all our meeting information down. We're going to send it. We're sending it to nobody, really. Right. It's going to warn us about that. This meeting cannot be uh, sent because there are no recipient names. That's okay. It's not going to be sent to anyone. I'm just going to save it as a placeholder in my calendar. Okay. Once I do that, you see I'm in December 2020 here. And there's my meeting it does exist and that URL is active okay so now all I need to do is I'm gonna copy that hyperlink there and I'll put this away we'll put that away as well and we're gonna bring up Jessica's one talk so she's got her one talk open here okay the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go down over to our meetings button right here and I'm going to add another, right? We're going to add another here. We're going to say uh, Jessica's PMR, you know, Jessica's room. And right here, this is one I want to paste. I got that meeting in my clipboard. I'm going to paste it in there. I'm going to save. We're, we're pretty much done on how this works. Now, all we need to do, if we want to start this meeting, we can start it here. Or first, what would I do if I wanted to start a meeting with someone within one talk? I'd probably text somebody. Yeah, let's copy that and let's go over to our messages and let's do a new text to somebody. I got a lab phone here. All right, we'll do that. And the text, I'm just going to paste that URL in there. And the other way you can do this that even saves you more time and an additional step is right here. If you can click right on this meeting button right here, you can see that I've added Jessica's PMR or the OneTalk application has added Jessica's PMR right into my messaging screen here. So I can just click that and that's going to add that URL right to there as well. So saves you some steps there. Let's head over to our iPhone right here. We'll put this away. Okay, now let's say this is uh, this is Tom here, right? We'll call this person Tom, uh, Tom's iPhone. So you see Tom got a, a text message there. Let's go right there. And there's the URL that was texted via SMS. Okay, now I'm just gonna click that. Now what that'll do, it'll do one of two things. It'll start up Microsoft Teams here you don't have to have a teams account or anything like that it's very like webex and zoom and things like that all you need is the app itself okay so it says open this page in teams sure i want to do that i've already downloaded the app if i didn't have the app obviously it would say you know download the app and just join as a guest tom does not have a microsoft teams account we're going to join meeting while it's joining Let's turn our attention back over to Jessica here, and uh, she wants to start her meeting. So she can go 
right here and start meeting open in the app yes the app was already open boom she goes right into the Microsoft Teams meeting and then she can join now one of the things to note here you always want the with this type of configuration you always want the lobby on now lobby's on by default so uh, you want to just make sure your IT admin has the lobby on if you're going to do something like this. You can see someone's already in the lobby. All right. If we go to Tom's phone, someone in the meeting should let you in. All right. So that's Jessica. Jessica is the host of the meeting, and she can go ahead and let Tom in. I'm going to go ahead and turn down this volume here. We make sure we don't get any. Uh, and I'll go over. Let's, let's see the list here. We see Tom is there waiting. And we'll go ahead and let him in. And now we are in a Microsoft Teams meeting. So it's really that easy. That's how it integrates. Now, one of the things also that Microsoft did not have until recently is when you would hang up, Jessica, the organizer, would hang up. The meeting would kind of stay out there, right? It would just stay out there. So, so people could join the meeting and stay in the meeting. All right. Now, with this type of system, you want to make any type of Microsoft meeting, really. You want to make sure that you end the meeting right here. End the meeting. Okay. That is going to make sure that Tom gets dropped off because, remember, this is going to be a static link. Maybe you're starting another personal meeting room right away or something like that. So you want to let everybody off or you want to, you want to boot everybody off and then start up the meeting again. So you want to end meeting right here. Okay. And we'll end meeting. We'll go look at our, go look at the iPhone here. And you can see that meeting is ended now. Okay, that's it. That's how easy it is to add integration for Microsoft Teams into your Verizon OneTalk. I hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching.